I'm your girl Ella Petit, the Aquarius Princess, and another beautiful day. Oh my god, man, heat don't kill me here. But regardless, that does not mean that the show will not kick start and we're not gonna run with the heat. You know, when London is hot, you feel it. I am feeling it very well. <laughs> if you're not feeling it, I'm, <laughs> I'm feeling it. All right, I have two amazing guests today, one in the studio and one outside the studio. The person outside the studio is in the moon, but in our studio. Somehow, somehow, there's magic happening. So the guy, the first guest in the studio is my beautiful London-based promoter. She's very young. I call her 16 years old, girl, even though she's not 16. But let her just take that quality. You understand what I mean now? It's an amazing girl tonight. Is it night? Regardless, you understand what I mean? Her name is Christina... Balogun. I throw a salute. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for having me. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Amazing. My second guest is a usual face. Uh, she's one of the best. Well, let me use best because if you don't praise this girl very well, you're underestimating your own self. Uh, she's very good in, in hyping herself. I want to hear hyping. She can sing song very well. Her tone of <laughs> if you're a singer, you know what I know, you go high pitch. She can go like that. <laughs> I can always salute to you, Babalicious Baba. Thank you so much for joining me on the show. My pleasure. This thank you for having me. This evening. How are you, Baba? I'm great, thank you very much, Hello. Thank you for coming or joining me on the show today. We're going to have an amazing evening or afternoon. Stay there, go nowhere. Let me throw the first question to my guests in the studio. All right, first of all, before I go into that, can you tell me what you do quickly? Okay, so um, I'm into promoting okay. events, promoting artists, um, A&R, PR jobs um, within the UK, you know, London-based. And um, I blog, I have an Instagram page, which is um, Christiana underscore Balogun. I also have a playlist page, which is Afrolit Playlist. That's where all the trending songs and you know in the uk if you love afro beats that's where you would go to to you know just get some fruit um new fresh sounds you know and i also use that page to promote um new and upcoming artists and uh, yeah that's basically what i do amazing it's very fascinating to see a young girl of your age actually aspiring for greater ends like you're pushing to your to the highest limit I know you guys can never guess that age, but let's leave it at that for now. <laughs> Mama Nishis Baba, can you please tell us a little bit about yourself as well in a brief summary, please? Okay, so basically I'm a minister of the word and in song as well. I've got three beautiful children and I'm happily married for about 13 years now. And I also do a bit of mentoring and coaching. Hey, my God, this topic suits you very well. If you've been married for 13 years, man, the kind of thing we'll be hearing from you is going to be very fascinating. All right, let's dig into the topic. Then. The first question I want to throw out there is, everybody's welcome to put in your own comment, okay? Or let us know what you think. If you're watching us from Instagram or Facebook, wherever you're watching us from, do not hesitate to put your own comments down, okay? So the first question is, should a woman engage a man? Hmm. 
Wow. Oh, Should wow. a woman engage a man? Because I've seen or I've, I've seen I've watched some movies or I've watched some clips, I've watched some people kneeling down on the knee and engaging a man. Should a woman go on the knee and ask a man to marry her? Um personally I wouldn't. <laughs> Alright, so why not? Um uh, wow. Okay, uh, <laughs> I just feel like um, it's, it's like, for me, it's like when um, a guy, mm -hmm. yeah, when you engage a man, ah, you know, the Bible says like the, the man is supposed to love us more, which we should, <laughs> I can't, I can't, I just can't see myself doing that. I don't okay. know. I can't really put it into words, but I just I feel like it's a it's a um, you know it's a job of a man. It's a to job to do yeah propose to, to propose woman. to the woman because the man is telling you that he wants you. Okay, not do the you get other what I mean? way around. Not, not the All right, Baba. So what do you know. think about that? What is your intake to that? Well, um, I you know my intake a lot. I keep saying that um, it's the man that has to ask a woman to um, yeah. marry. Um, him, not a woman asking, because you know there's an there's an order. There's always a head, and then there's um, somebody else that um, mm. there's another unit. Let's put it that way, because you can't have all two captains in one boat, okay? And the man is obviously the head. You understand? So a man participates and asks a woman to marry him, not the other way around. So I don't agree with that at all. Yeah. And don't you think like it's sort of, um, I'm not being you funny, so we can hear you okay, um, I'm not being like, um, trying to, but don't you think like it's a bit devaluing, like you're, you, you devalue yourself, you, you devalue yourself when, when you, you, when you ask a man to marry you. All right, so Baba, do you agree that when you ask a man to marry you, you're devaluing yourself? If you, if you I do agree because... I do agree because um, what tends to happen is that they lose a bit of respect for you. They're like, oh, you're that desperate, you asked me to marry you. And eventually, I, I feel like it will come up in the marriage as well. When there's issues, you can say, well, at the end of the day, I didn't even ask you to marry me. You <laughs> wanted me so desperately. So, yeah. All right. Uh, I, I would say, uh, to me, I feel like a woman should not ask a man to marry or her because in the Bible is actually the man who finite a woman and not the woman who finite a That's man. That's right. Because if a woman was to propose to a man, it simply means that she's not a head of the family. So the right of the man is being taken away from the man and been and now has been given to the woman, which I think it shouldn't happen happen at all at all at all. A man should not or disvalue himself and let the woman take the upper hand if you know what i mean because yeah. men always want to be the boss mm. so if a woman kneels down it doesn't even sound right a woman kneeling down. yeah that that sort of like took me off my ground because it's just like um the sort of self-confidence a, ha a man has to say that he w mm -hmm. is providing for his family yeah. because when a man is unable to provide for his family mm -hmm. um obviously that's another issue that can affect a man's confidence and affect the whole relationship so the way he feels like he's being devalued in his home mm -hmm. i'm not saying that that's necessarily all men or but i'm just saying like because these days like men like people's mentality is sort of like changing evolving into different things um but obviously from our upbringing you know um it's very like the man is the head of the house so the fact that um is not able to actually fulfill that purpose yeah. and the woman supposedly is taking that that title in a way that can make that um, man lose confidence and this is what so it's just the other way around so it's like a woman asking <coughs> a man like to marry her you know it's not like you're asking him out on a date you're not asking him out on a date you're asking him to marry you uh, you know okay so can let, me, let me just throw out this question to either you or baba do you think the reason why the woman a woman would even want to go to that extreme is because she has found peace in you and you know that you're not ready but she wants to secure a relationship with you so asking you out to marry her would make you consider that oh my god this girl is ready mm, 
No. Well, it depends on how um, their relationship is like, you know, what, what it was founded on. I would say that um, if, if the guy is not even ready to be to settle, I feel like it's all, if, if, if he even has something that he feels that he can benefit from her, I feel like it's all going to just come crumbling down, to okay. be honest, yeah. So, Baba, what, what can you say? Yeah, I, I agree with that point as well. Because, as I said, it, it'll be like, I use the word desperation because <laughs> you, you're going to come across as you're so desperate. You want a man. You just want to get married. Because I watched a movie and there was a lady that thought, I need to get married before I'm 40. And it nearly backfired on her. Literally, she messed up her life with different kinds of men who come in and deceive her and, and get what they want and just leave her. And the person she wanted actually was right in front of her the whole time and she didn't even notice because she was too busy looking elsewhere okay. you know so i i think that desperation desperation can cause women to do that but it, it's not good to look desperate as well because it devalues you as a woman mm. all right amazing let me throw out this next question should a woman keep her option open when dating so if you have a boyfriend and someone else is interested in you or you're interested in the person, should you keep your option open because you're single? Hmm. My topics are hmm. right. <laughs> Your topics are scary. <laughs> yeah, that's another one. <laughs> should we keep our option open? You're a single lady or you're, there's no attachment to your relationship. First of all, I know people say that if you're in a relationship, you should be faithful. But there is no attachment. The guy has said, can you be my girlfriend? That's the quality you've gotten from this guy. Should you now put all your egg in this basket, knowing that something may come up and the guy will say, you're not the right, the right person, or, or you're not the woman for me. I want to move on to my next or victim or whatever, or my hmm. next relationship. <laughs> and you have been next spending victim. your time like five years or three years or two years with this guy. But the question is, should you, as a single lady, keep your option open? I would. You would? Yeah. Okay, Baba, would you keep your option open if you're single? I know you're married. We're going to throw some mar mar marital questions to you. That, that's fine. That's but fine. if you're single, um, you would know, you keep your option open? Um, yes, if I was single, I would, because then I would make sure that I don't have um, intimate relationships with him until it's formal. Do you understand? Because yeah. you, you can't trust men these days. They would profess all their love to you and do whatever you want just to get what they want. So yeah. it's best to keep yourself to yourself, get to know them, and keep your options open because you don't know what their motives are. And above all, pray. Yes, you have to pray. Exactly. Okay. Oh, yes. So you, you said you're going to keep your option open if it were to be you. Why would you keep your option open? Yeah, because, um, like she said, um, unless I know that we have actually got into that point where I know there's no turning back, you know. So what, what is that point? How do you know the point where you know that there's no turning back? What well, is the point? because he's settled and he's actually um, shown in that he's ready to to move on to the next stage. I'm, I'm, I'm. No, no, please. We need to be clear. What is the next stage? How do you know that? You have to decide. Ready? The both of you have to decide that you are not going to be seeing any other persons apart from your your yourselves. To okay. be honest, um, it's a decision that the both of you have to like just sit down and actually make. And even before you even get to that point, there are some certain behavior patterns or characters that I would have shown. Oh, right, the phone line is ringing. So let's pick up the phone line. And uh, we can hear from the guests. Sorry yeah. to cut you short. Okay. Hello. Uh, welcome to All Stars Base. I'm your girl Ella Pate. What's your name, please? Hi, Ella. Yes. Um, just a quick one. Yeah. I What's? Can, can we know what your name is, please, if possible? Mr. John. Mr. John. Thank you for joining us.
We hardly can hear you. Can you be all, all louder, please? Can you speak louder, if possible? Okay, that's fine. Just a minute. Thank you. Okay, yes. So, why is it most of the women, especially in the UK, mm. men will approach them, mm. listen, I like you, all right? The man might have full intentions. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I think that's exactly what we're talking about. Mm. Uh, the two ladies on the studio right now are saying that they would like to keep the option open because if you know very well that, especially guys in the UK, you hardly serious. find any faithful guy in the UK. They're all playing games. Either they don't have papers, mm -hmm. they're looking for British paper. Either they don't have accommodation, mm -hmm. they're looking for somebody to accommodate them. Either they don't have money mm -hmm. in their bank account, they're looking for somebody they, they, can, they can steal from. There must be something. We're not saying that there's no genuine guys who truly want true relationship. But it's the fact it's that rare. so many ladies have gone through a lot that they don't have the patience to go through another heart. So when you have good intention, one, you don't make yourself open to the lady saying, lady, from my heart, this is what I'm looking for. Guys always put you on suspense. They want to sleep with you. Then they will not tell you that. Oh, let's see how the future goes. Let's see how we move to the next level. Let's see if we're compatible. Do you understand? Yeah. And this is the reason why, let me, to be honest with you, um, I do not entertain, you know, like, from the very beginning, if you, even if you t approach me, you tell me that you really like me, um, I still have to kind of like, test you out as uh, test out your personality to see you know how real or how genuine is what you are saying so i would have conversations with you i would not even take it to the next step you know like she said rightly said most guys some people are even married and they will pretend to you that they are single some people have partners back home in in of their countries, Nigeria, for example, and um, they would, they're living single men life in the UK. So there's just so many instances, but what I feel like is important is for a woman or even man, you know, cause this from happens with, you know, women as well, you know, to men and vice versa, men to women is all the same. But I'm just saying generally, you wanna kind of study the person and know the person um, before you can like, even fully commit to like say, um, I want to um, take this relationship from just being friends to mm. being your girlfriend, mm. you know. And once you're someone's girlfriend, obviously I don't see any reason for anyone to be leaving options open after that. But oh, I'm gonna stop you there. <laughs> I'm gonna stop you there. The, the person is still on the phone. I'm so sorry, I disagree. For mm. the fact that I'm called your girlfriend, Mm. Does not guarantee that we're going to, it will lead us to marriage. Yeah, agreed. That's it. For but, the fact that I'm called your girlfriend does not mean that there's a ring in my finger. I didn't say, but then I don't, that's the thing. With, with things here, yeah, I don't want to date someone. I don't, I don't want to date some, like be in a relationship because for me to even be your girlfriend, that means we're now in a relationship. And I can't be in a relationship and this is my personal view. I can't be in a relationship and be in a relationship with another man. If I'm in a relationship with one person, mm -hmm. then is that time for us to now study, uh, like carry on with what we're doing and obviously see if we are even going to work out for marriage. If it doesn't work out, mm -hmm. better to break up with the person whilst you're still boyfriend and girlfriend mm -hmm. than for you to just carry on as normal and then it leads to marriage and then that's another story. Okay. Yeah. Well, yes. Not so, together. Is that yeah. clear enough for you, sir? Yes, yes, that's fine. But, but, but one more thing, yeah? Okay. They also say um, that men in the UK are not faithful. Well, let me tell you this. Where women is a bit drunk, they see that for any man that approaches them, maybe it's for paper. 
All right. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. I'm going to continue with that point uh, after you go up the phone. Thank you so much for calling us. Can I say something? I, I, I think people are actually getting this wrong. Yes. Yes. Men in the UK are not, we can never say every man in the UK are not faithful. No. Yeah? It's not possible. We have the good ones. And I can also tell you that yeah. women in the UK as well lie a lot. No, everyone. I, did, I didn't say everyone. Just the way not all men are liars. Not all women, women are liars. Are true. He talked about cheating. Yes, men cheat a lot and women also cheat a lot. But can I and just... the only time a woman will go out and cheat is if you've done something to her. Women don't cheat. It's not in our nature to Thank cheat. You. At all. The only time a woman will cheat on you is... I'll give you three reasons why a woman will cheat. One, you're not good in bed. If you're not sexually to her level, yeah, and you, as in, even though she's begging you for it, you're not giving it to her, then this woman will be forced to go outside. That's yeah. one good reason why a woman will go outside. If she will tell you, please, yeah. let's. She'll start fantasizing. She'll be begging you, please, yeah, let's about, try something yeah. new. And you're saying no to yeah, it. You're true. saying, but you saw me like this. Oh, why did you not complain? <laughs> now, why are you, not, why are you complaining? Those things will lead the woman to cheat. Another reason why a woman will go out and cheat is that she does not find peace yeah. in her home. If a woman is not happy at all, mm. See, one thing about women is they will let you know that they're not happy. They want you to fix it. Because every woman wants to be in a relationship. But if that is not happening, then they'll go outside. Women don't cheat because their husband is cheating. In UK, no. True. Because they know that when they cheat, you cheat, you cheat, you will tell them you don't want them anymore and you're the one that they love. The person they are going to cheat with does not even want them because it's just cheating. True. <clears throat> Baba, do you have anything to say? Yeah, in my opinion. Them. women cheat out of loneliness because um a lot of um women when they get married the husbands sort of i don't know what it is about when they hear marriage the minute that they know that they're married now it's like they begin to change they they think that okay now you have kids now i have you in my face 24 7 i want something else okay and I'm not saying that every man does that, and I'm not blaming them. But men are created with something called dopamine, mm. which causes them to chase. It's in their nature to chase. It takes maturity and understanding to control that. Okay? So I, 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 I can confidently say that my husband would not ever, ever, I don't know about you guys cheat on me because not because of me but because he's mature in the spirit mm. and he fears God mm. so it takes the fear of God to stop a man from cheating True. Mm. I, I agree with you because yeah. yes it takes the fear of God for a man not to cheat but I've still seen lots of people in mm. church who has the fear of God. I can, I, the, the difference is that. This mm -mm, is mm -mm, being religious. You mean religious, religious. not okay, people religious. who have the fear of God. That's a difference between a man that goes to church and a man that fears God. All right, let me ask you a question. Because if you say a man that goes to church and a man that has the fear of God. So a man who mm. is a choir leader, yeah, who is leading the choir mistress, choir mistress, mm -hmm. choir members, whatever you call but it. But you didn't know that. And <laughs> just cheating. Yeah, because I know mm -hmm. I can call four guys that I know personally who Whoa. are choir leaders, but they have girlfriends <laughs> outside their marital home. What do yeah, they have? Yeah, because they don't have the fear of God in them. Church members. Church members. They are just playing church, my darling. <laughs> Listen, I, I'm, I'm not a saint, okay? Before I got to this level, I didn't have understanding. I wasn't mature. 
-hmm. and I used to be in church in the choir we were messing about and I'm, mm -hmm. I'm I can confidently say it I'm not ashamed to say it because I'm not a saint but now God even when I think certain thoughts I immediately I feel uncomfortable so yeah. when you have a relationship with God and a close walk with God yeah. the things that you do there's something yeah there's actually something about this the um this is not a religious show but just trying to there's something about the fear of god mm. that actually um refreshes you yeah. you kind of want to see things mm. differently you want to do things differently like little things like um you know spending time with your family you know cherishing your wife taking care of her you know just daily things that are like working on your mind and allowing you to see things in unique ways True. that's that's mm. what i feel like um b means by you know the fear of god yeah. do you get what i mean not mm. just like oh yeah um, yeah let's let, no not I'm fear of being afraid not at all pastor of a church and that kind of stuff because i know that mm. so many pastors out there stories and etc that obviously are pastoring churches but they are still um fornicating and yeah. you know using women so i feel like it's way beyond just carrying your bible or even carrying any other source of um religious book and you know and all right. that kind of stuff yeah. all right let's let's get a big big scenario here and i, w I want you guys to be 100 percent honest and how you think the person should feel so this is a case study right now, okay? A 14 years old boy's mother is no longer in the picture. What I mean in the picture is that the mother is not in the life of the child, either is in the life of the ex-husband. And the father's mm. full attention is now on his new girlfriend, or he's seeing the girl he's seeing right now, his attention is now on the girl. The father has decided to introduce his new girlfriend to his son. Now the question is, how, what reaction do you think the boy should have? Or what do you think is going through the boy's head? <laughs> Baba, let's start with you. Wow. Okay, well, first of all, it depends on who the boy is mm -hmm. and the circumstances surrounding the breakup as well. Okay. Okay, so some children have and then that mom that don't love each other anymore doesn't mean that I don't have parents anymore or I don't have a mom and I don't have a dad. She may not be with my dad, but she's still my mother. And my, my father, however, has to move on and can't stay uh, single. Okay, so it's okay for my father to have somebody else. If he has that understanding, I think he'll be fine. But if the circumstances is, um, the break are not quite good if it was of abuse or any other i'm certain that the boy will have some sort of hatred for the woman all right don't forget that there's there's a statement there the full attention is on the girlfriend there not no the boy given to this boy so all the attention okay. is for the girlfriend and the boy is there looking at the father where am I now? If you are giving all the attention to this woman, what happens when she comes in? Hmm. When she becomes my okay. stepmother. Wow. Okay. Th that's 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 well, a lot of hate in that relationship. Yes. I, yeah. I don't believe that he's definitely going to accept that. Um, unless no. uh, maybe um the god touched his heart in some kind of way <laughs> and he happens to be a child that um has a better understanding mm. to um see things from a different perspective and try to gain but his father's that's love that's right yeah. um mm. he might even start feeling like his father doesn't even love him anymore that's, and that's and anymore. i feel that is a very very dangerous thing because he would definitely never accept the stepmom and that would later on cause more, you know, friction in the family, especially when the stepmom starts having other children as well. Okay, can I give a quick story? Mm -hmm. I, I know of a girl who had the mother, yeah, at a time. All she had was the mother and the little brother. And a guy came into the picture for the mom. 
Mm. Yeah? And she felt like each time the guy comes in, never pays attention to her, always cares for the mother, and will go out with the mother and never show any remorse and love for her. Now, when mm. the guy now proposed to the mother, she did <clears throat> everything possible to scatter that relationship before the, the man even came into the house. The man did not even say the house. Wow. Because she felt that, okay, if this man would not love me now that you're seeing my mom, mom, how would you love me when you're now married to my mom? Mm. Mm. So she did everything possible to erase that man in the picture. Now, the bad thing about this thing is, Children like this do not sit down and consider their mother because they are not in a good mindset. Mm. They are, remember, the boy is 14 years. Yeah. He is in a place where he mm. needs to be loved or he goes into the street. Mm -hmm. Two things. A 14 years old boy wants parent guardian or they go into mm. the street. So this is not a time you That's true. forget that they exist. This is not the time to put your full attention to a girlfriend. This is the time, even though the girlfriend is coming to, into the house, make the girlfriend love the child. Can I tell you the secret? Men or women believe that if they want to come into a new relationship that has kids involved, they believe that if they love the man, the children will love them. No, you have to love the children first because if you can buy the heart, first, or you I can agree. The heart of the children, you have won the heart of the man. But sure. if you love the man and not love the kids, the kids will remove you. Because they want to be loved. Or vice versa. So they don't mind you coming into the picture, but it's the fact that you're not showing them any concerns. I see they don't exist. And they feel like, oh, if you're doing this thing to them, what would you do when you're not legally married to their, to their father or their mother? Which is a very... It hurts. It hurts, yeah. yeah. It's a hard one. And that's the yeah. truth. Um, If you're single like single mom single dad and you are dating someone or you're interested in somebody I believe that um, you should try to get your children to know that person um, and sort of like try to study you know what that relationship is like as well so not even just the children and then even that the children can use that opportunity to get to know the person as well maybe so spend as much time together as possible not always like going away um, you know especially when you know the relationship is going somewhere yeah then you definitely want to spend as much time together mm. as a family you know, so that it's something that you, they kind of like grow into. Not that, oh, um, I've been seeing this guy for two years and now mm -hmm. um, I, want, I want to marry him. You know, here's your new father. Out of, out of nowhere. <laughs> you get what I mean? amazing, amazing point. Okay, quick point or quick um, another point. Why is it that any woman that has a child, either one or two, has a stigma? The moment a guy comes into his her life or his life any both way if a woman that has a child or a man that has a child and the wife is no longer there mm -hmm. or a woman who is single <clears throat> each time but it, it happens most time with women each time a man comes in and they know that they have children they run away so the moment you say i have kids they're the all the wrong gone. ones they're not the right ones okay so do you have you ever seen the right one a man would that would, for example, you have yeah. four kids. Um, yeah, I, I, I've actually met someone that, you know, although is focusing, you know, on his career and doing stuff. And I'm not just, I'm just saying, you know, um, it, it's not about the children. It's not because I have children. It's because he has things that he wants to do for himself. And I have things that I want to do for myself. Mm -hmm. And I feel like until both of us like you know you know fate are on the same wavelength you know so it's, it's not even i've even met guys i'm not being funny like when i see guys all the time you know i mean i don't go and see guys by the way but i mean <laughs> i feel like when guys approach me and tell me you know that um oh i like you and stuff like that and even from in the introduction you know and they ask me oh yeah i'm, I'm i've got three children 
I say it right there. Even I say it to my female friends. I say it to my male friends. I say it to everybody, anybody. You know, I've got three children. And they're like, oh, wow, okay. So even if you're developing any interest you for me, like you already know that my children are there. So it's not, you're not developing interest. Maybe you're now developing sexual interest or you actually are looking for a partner or a relationship. But you will never, ever miss the fact that I have three children. Okay, but look at it this way. I have also seen a situation where this particular guy, yeah, knows that you have three children, yeah? And because his intention is not clean, he's still coming to your life. Either he will even get you pregnant more, he will marry you and get what he wants and get out. Yeah, but then are you, are you dating him because you are, um, you know you have three children? I'll give you an example, yeah. actually. This, this happened to me. I have a friend, a female friend, yeah, that knows that me and my ex-partner, we didn't work out, and we already have three children. Okay, wow. You know, because my, my children are from the same dad. Um, and um, it was a relationship of over 16 years. Um, but... That, that would be <laughs> a nice point. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it was a relationship of uh, uh, yeah over 16 years we were actually legally married to be honest um but um it was a abusive relationship i'm not um, ashamed to talk about it i feel like people can definitely learn from it um and people term like tend to like term abusive um to just something physical but there's mental abuse mm. you know mental abuse, abuse mm -hmm. financial abuse you know That's so right. yeah it was just all in general an uh, abusive relationship so obviously um that i like blocks someone from actually growing or progressing even in character not to talk about everything else um but what i would say is um this girl, you know, um, approached me and said, oh, one of my friends likes you. And I actually know the guy. But the guy is someone that even when I was with my ex, um, he, I just always say hello and bye. I never really had any negative or any thoughts or any, you know, swearing, like swearing thoughts in my mind. He approached me. Um, it was like, I mean, he wanted to approach me, but I think my friend at that time said, oh, are you going to approach a married woman? <laughs> you know, and that so you, all this I'm actually just finding out, but that's because I've ended it with my um, ex. But um, but now all of a sudden, I think she must have mentioned to him that I'm single now. You know, so I should be okay and all good and gravy um, and stuff like that. But this is somebody that I know that he also has a living partner. So they might not be married, but you have a living partner and you have two children. You know, so I was telling my friend that I would never ever give it a shot because whether you're legally and um, whether you're legally married or you are you have a living partner for me it terms like it's the same because you know the mindset of the lady is even because he's there saying things to me like oh um, it's not like that. Um, you know, they, they have problems. To be honest, he doesn't even want her. He feels like he has made the wrong decision. And if, he's always wanted to approach me. He's just never found the opportunity that I, if he had known that he would have approached me sooner before he got with the lady, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Sorry, because all that just sounds like noise to me. Um, but, um, you know, and for me, I just said no. Um, the reason I said no was because I felt like putting myself in the woman's shoe, even though you feel like this relationship is not going anywhere, it's not going to work, mm -hmm. she, you, ha you are still together because you're living in, under the same roof, even when as far as saying that they, they, have sep they sleep in separate bedrooms, but that's none of my business, you know. Um, but what I said to my friend was I would just never go there. What she now said to me was what like took me about, um, aback. She said to me that um, you're not going to get any better because I have three children. Ooh. That's literally, <laughs> she was like, oh, you already have three children. Do you think you're going to, like, you know, I said, whether I have three children or I don't, like, oh, do you think all this, this single guys, they're not going to take you seriously. They're not even interested in you because you already have three children. This is the kind of guy you should go for. He genuinely likes you. 
Wow. That's what like shocked me. I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, first of all, I'm not interested. Mm. Then every other thing is totally unnecessary. So I, I didn't really bother like prolonging that conversation, but obviously my mindset is already like set on the right. fact that, you know, this, this is not, um, it's not going to work. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. That's a great, that's a great uh, input. Yeah. Baba, can I throw, throw you a quick question? Should a woman divorce her husband because he cheated? Should a woman divorce her husband because he cheated. Well, um, um, to that, yeah. But if it was me, I wouldn't. Okay, um, I wouldn't if I know that he's genuinely sorry and he didn't intend to. It was the circumstances that led him to do that. And I would try and ask, sit him down, and ask him if I had anything to do with it at all. Okay, because you know, some women get married. And then just let go. Okay. They so, don't bother about how they look. So put yourself in that shoe. If you were to be the one okay. that cheated, should your man divorce you because you cheated? He has a two. He has what? He has a right to divorce too. Because the Bible says that if someone commits adultery, it's grounds for you to divorce them. Okay, can mm. I stop you there? So the man can cheat, the man can, the man can cheat on you and you will not divorce him. But when you cheat on him, I would can not. divorce you. I would not. But if he wants to, I wouldn't, I wouldn't force him to stay. So why would he divorce you? If you can no, stay, I'm just why saying. I think it's a personal choice. No, no, trying. It's a personal choice. Thank it's you. Christine just said it. Yeah. It's a personal choice. I was just going to say that. It's a personal choice. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Let's hear your point. No, it's true because um, obviously um, it's a personal choice. If he, if he feels that he can't take it, you know, it's too much. Maybe every time he touches you, all he thinks about is another man laying hands on you. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> then obviously he needs a break <laughs> you just gotta let him go and do his stuff because if you try to face yeah. it from then onwards it just goes further down the hill but and same mm -hmm. for the woman as well she said you know if i heard clearly that she wouldn't do it but she can if she wanted to so it's it's, it's a personal oh, okay can i just <laughs> can i just put that my own or in or my own thought I feel that we have given men so much right and power to go there and mess up themselves and come back and tell us it's an accident. And we, the woman or women, can never even try that mess in our home and mm -hmm. still stay there another week. Now, if a man cheats on you continuously, now, if you cheat on me once and you go, I'm sorry. Even though you don't tell me, you have peace with yourself. Okay, it's a mistake. I have come to my whatever and I won't do it anymore. I don't want to know about it. You have mm. the peace of whatever with yourself. It's fine. But if you continuously do it and I get to know that you're cheating on me, then I stay in that home. Then if it was to be a woman who accidentally was to do that, she gets divorced. Yeah. Yes, we know that the Bible says that women should be humble. Yeah, but why can't a man be humble as well? Because it might not be. It might not be. UK, it, it might not be a thing of pride or ego. I feel like men. It hurts men for some reason more to share their women. like not to share their women, but they because when a man loves a woman, you know, he feels like he has this sort of. Um, ownership it's not do you get what i mean mm. like there's something that he can say this is mine yes. it's my own so obviously you know someone that if it's more hurting for a man how many this i don't is know yours? how many <laughs> this is yours do you want to have because a man can have his wife have his girlfriend that he sees behind the scene yeah. and has another chikilo somewhere Maybe a Which is horrible. Freshman. Yeah, it's, he can still own these disgusting. three girls and still tell them to their face, "I love you, and I want to spend the rest of my life with you." 
Let me give an example. I know a guy when I was back in Nigeria, yeah? He had a wife who was pregnant for the fourth boy. Now, we're not talking about girls. A man can cheat on you because you have girls. That's understandable. No, it's not. It's statements. Statements like sure. that. No, no, no. We all know that men cheat for different reasons. <laughs> <laughs> they like okra, they go for this. They, they do it all the time. But what I'm saying is this. This woman was pregnant for the fourth boy. But the man was still sleeping with my girlfriend. I had to beg I had to go to him like, bros, you have four solo. I didn't want to marry this girl. Because even though you love her so much that you want to marry her, your sons, all those your boys, they will kick her out. So why? What is... Do you understand where I'm coming I from? I do. So we give guys the right to mess us up. Look at it this way. I'm sorry, I have to say this because I've been harboring it for a very long time. <laughs> and I want to break it down. Women has a straight life. You're born. You go to school. Yeah? You get married. You give birth. That's your life. That used to be our life. True. When women are not even supposed to walk, you're meant to be a house wife now look at it you you meet the first guy remember they say women should be faithful no mm. sleeping around right mm. you meet the first guy the guy who is supposed to marry you you have an affair with him you've not tested anywhere you've not date nothing this is your first guy and you're faithful in our list to marriage but that guy is doing his wrongs because guys are allowed to mm. what are you understanding my I, point I'm so if a woman is meant to be faithful in relationship I also believe that a man should be faithful in relationship. It shouldn't be the thing of a man can go out there, do what they want to do, and if any day you try your luck, <laughs> you get a written letter saying, sign it. Because but do okay. you know there are uh, actually men out there that forgive their partners for cheating, which is funny. I love those men. Why not? Because everybody make mistake. Yeah. A man will come and tell you, I made a mistake. Please forgive me. A woman can never say I made a mistake. Why yeah, not? but it's true. It's a known oh, can I come because the, the the way our um, parents and parents, parents and parents before that <laughs> they raised us is like, especially in the man's like men are allowed to do certain things Thank you. and women aren't allowed. allowed to do certain things. But glory to God, um, we're in a day and age where people can now make their own decisions <laughs> so no, no, but obviously these are these are mindsets that we are all, uh, we are still battling to yeah. be honest with you which is which is the truth but like Ooh. i um i would say i actually had made a decision um to be happy in my previous um relationship you know because i um did everything i did i actually did everything to make sure that um i stay happy in it or, and even like spread that happiness amongst but it was just like you know when you try to be happy but then someone is just like no you can't be happy <laughs> no <laughs> no but it's true it was it was a disaster it, i didn't leave like i didn't leave that relationship because it was cheating because there was so many um, I left that relationship because um, of the um, abuse. Okay. Yeah, so it was it wasn't the case of cheating, but it's because yes, we were, like even when I wanted to leave, I had people telling me, "Oh, you already have three children. Where do you think you're going? <laughs> you, yeah. you can't go anywhere. <laughs> you know, uh, what's gonna take you now and stuff." If I was listening to all those things, I would not have like. Mm -hmm come out of it and I would have been stuck being unhappy for the rest of my life because I was literally um, battling all sorts of abuse underneath closed doors Do you get what I mean yeah, so I yeah um, so that yeah okay. oh, Baba, let me, uh, Baba you there let me throw you a question quickly is Baba mm -hmm. there yes Baba is there Baba a quick question I'm still here me. yeah if you are in a relationship, like you're married, Duma, you've been with your partner for a very long time, and before you know it, yep. he cultivates this abusive behavior on you, would you tolerate the abuse? No, I wouldn't. And it depends on what kind you... of... Well, abuse is definitely wrong, okay? If, 
let's say if he was abusing me physically, oh, I would retaliate. Mm. It's either he dies or I die. <laughs> I can't believe you just said that. <laughs> She's real. She's no, no, oh, but yeah. it's true. Yeah. Because yeah. I, I don't believe in I don't believe in men laying a finger on finger, women. Yeah. It's just it's just it's just barbaric and it's cowardly, basically. Mm. I don't call you a man if you lift a finger on a woman. Mm. You're an it's animal. True. Yeah. It's true. I would do the same. But do you know another thing is like mental um physical abuse is even 10 times more better than when you're being abused emotionally, emotionally Physical, or mentally. Uh, mentally, yeah. Yeah, because it's that so could have worse. a long-term effect. I'm sorry, none yeah. of them is okay. <laughs> <laughs> before, before a guy, before a guy will get to a place <laughs> where he will abuse you emotionally and mentally, you have tolerated a lot to get to a place where he starts to work on you. But physical abuse... When a man hits you once, he can even die of it. <laughs> it's true. Understand? Yeah, I do. It's true. So I wonder, I it's don't true. Want to By the time you slap, I'll give it a ten, ten times slap. You wouldn't even want to try it. Because yeah. sometimes men look at the woman, they look at the kind of person they're dealing with. The man cannot slap a woman who is crazy. That's right. Because he knows that that house will not contain both of you anymore. <laughs> it's true. And that's why you can see women abuse men who are too quiet or men abuse beating up yeah. a woman who is too quiet. There must be something. I don't even think it's about being too quiet because you, me, in, I have a tendency to be quiet in a relationship. But quiet, not quiet in the sense that I hide things, no. I am just more of a listening person. I would listen to what you're saying. Mm. I would go away, like, you know, analyze it. Even, and process. Even if it's there or maybe later on, depending, you know, I, I read moods. And things like things that you know you should really necessarily do in a relationship because um, this is why I feel like even before you even get into a relationship in the first place you need to find your ground mm. you know with me I actually started my relationship like at a young you age can, can tell, don't tell us. <laughs> at a young age you can tell, not you can like tell no it was it was it was child you know young love you know, no, blossom, you and then we we grew, we grew. No, we grew, we grew up to discover that we probably wanted different things, and yeah. he didn't really want to let go. But I just needed to grow, and he didn't want me want well, that. And I also you think know, that it was just clashing. So, clash. for, for those of you who are watching and you're very young, I think it's really not. It doesn't really sound nice or right going into a relationship when you're too young. Because trust me, if that's your first love, the guy is not matured. You are not mature. Maybe the woman yeah. will be more matured than the guy. But yeah. you get to a both place of you are still you, growing. You get to a place where you really want to test the world, mm. and the guy is not what you think he it is, he is yeah. or what you uh, uh, aspire a man to be, and you want to go out there and explore. So when you're in the, and I, I can tell you, I know a girl in the UK here who started dating when she was thirteen. I used to be a youth leader. I used to punish this girl in church. Punish, punish. <laughs> they refuse to separate. But it, right now, they are like cat and dog. There you go. They don't want to separate. But police is always coming into their matter. I don't want that. Do you get what I mean? Because me, I like my peace. You know. And you, you had. You, did you see my post? The post I posted. Yeah. yeah. Protect your peace. I love my peace. Yeah. And um, I don't want police on my door. <laughs> I don't want, <laughs> I just want peace of mind. So anything that would sort of encourage that, you know, with like self-love, you know, and then obviously appreciating what's around me, who is around me. If we are going to go into a relationship, you know, uh -huh. but for me to now start like, once a man starts arguing, mm. I'll just be like this. True, true, true. That's how <laughs> I cannot. All right, last point before we sign out. Should a man move into a woman's house when married? So remember, oh, the Bible says, no, no. He that find a wife. You guys said you cannot engage a man. Let's be honest. No. You said you will not engage a man. Baba says she will not engage a man. So if a man now engages you and get married to you and then move into your house, who is in the head of the home? 
It's my yard. <laughs> it's my yard. The okay. is still on my head. Can I just say this? Even you're contributing. What if, what if <laughs> it just made sense? Because <laughs> I don't feel like that should really change the stature of the relationship. Uh, the the it head, yeah, but th no, that's what I had actually even felt before, you know. Oh, and it changes everything because been there, done it, you know. Listen, darling, <laughs> you just said to me, I would not engage a man because when you no, do, but I wouldn't do it now. Thank you. That's what I'm trying to say. If you say to me that I cannot put a ring in a man's house, in, in a yeah. man's hand, why would you then tell a man to carry his bags? his luggages, and come to my house. That means I'm the, man, I'm the one marrying the man. Yeah, I see it's, the point. It's meant to be the other way around. You leave your mother's house, your father's house, and you go into your house. Or you go into house. a new home. No, a new home. <laughs> because what if your husband's house is a family house, and he has to leave his home, and you have to no, leave? No, no, no. You can't see it that way. Even though he leaves <laughs> his home, and you leave your home, you're married to him. He puts the ring in your hand. Mm. He's the head of the home. So, so you're moving to his family. That's right. New house. No, 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 no. I'm not saying that. I'm saying even though you're moving into a new house, you're moving into his house. True. Because he's married to you. Oh, I you're see. You're now yeah. his responsibility. I, but is it? Mm. See, let me tell you. This is why I you like can that. always see London people break up all the time. Every small thing, the woman is calling police. Kick him out of my ass. <laughs> he's giving me trouble. He's not showing me love. He's shouting. Oh, it's because it's, it's, it's the, the house. It's the foundation. Yes. And that is right. You know, you cannot build a house on um water or sand. You it know. doesn't even sound right. That's <laughs> not my African culture. A man marries a woman. He goes to the woman's house, takes his belongings, take the wife, and takes to his home. But can I just say, you know, like a lot of people come from nigeria mm -hmm. yeah or from other countries yeah. i'm just saying like they come from home mm -hmm. you know obviously with us within the african culture just saying and they they move to the western part yeah and everything changes they actually like don't see anything wrong do you know why <laughs> do you know why why because you see what that's what one thing about us is this year we want to adapt and we forget our culture. Our culture. Okay? They say when you go to Rome, you act like a Roman. Honestly. Yeah? And this is what we Africans do when we come to Europe. We want to adapt to their culture. In Europe, yeah, women has rights. So because African country, somewhere like Nigeria, women do not have rights in their home. So when you come to Europe and you know that, oh, eh, hey, so come back to give me house, eh? Really? <laughs> and I'm the child of that home. Eh. So a man can move into my house. Eh. So when you have a take him out there. Oh, okay. Abby. Do you understand? So they want to now pull out those things that they've have brought back in their country. They know that they don't have the right to do. So when they come to Europe and they know that, oh my God, come back to give me a house. When my man messes up, I can just go die na 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 and I'll come and kick him out. Why would that not But you know, men <laughs> even still use women for this purpose. Oh, like I know someone that even like was asking me. Oh, I heard that um, you know, if I like marry someone or if I date a woman, like you know, she but through her I can get some benefits and some freebies so through the thing. government. You know, so it's 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 not just the woman feeling like oh I am the owner of the house. It's also the man feeling like that's yeah, free money, free money, no, bring it. That's why that's why I said that men uses women a lot. So we have <laughs> learned from it. Let's hear from Baba. So it won't be that Baba is just listening and not contributing. Yes, Baba. please. Let's hear from you. <laughs> Yeah, I was actually laughing at what you were discussing. <laughs> it's so true. Um, some men tend to think, okay, yay, freebies. Okay, I, even if I don't work, they're going to give some benefits to my wife. They're going to give some benefits to the kids, and I could just sit at home and watch TV. So some men actually see it as a, an advantage. And some as well, in Africa, where we're from, Women tend to be a lot. We, we, we usually feel as if we have no power. We have no right to be whatever the man says. Okay? So that's why when they come here and they realize that, wow, I have so much power, it gets to their head. Exactly. Sometimes it's a mental thing. People don't realize that it's a mental thing. You understand? Mm -hmm. It's a sweat themselves. Okay, fine. I have the power. So if you mess up, you're out.
You see, so it all depends on who the woman is and what background she's from and what she's grown up seeing. Because a lot of um, um, African men tend to be chauvinistic, excuse me to say, but they, a lot of them like are control freaks. It's either you do what I want or the highway. Mm. Yeah. And, and that's, that's where the, uh, the start of abuse comes. Yeah. You know, they start abusing you mentally making yeah. you feel like you're not learning mom will tell you things like oh you're going so fat as to you whatever you feed the mind the body accepts and then you know of yourself and you lose yourself and then it tends into domestic and physical abuse as well so it starts mentally then eventually leads to physical and then if you mm -hmm. care is not taken you could die in it as well that's true and even if like i was gonna say that with the um with the whole um, woman thing, like, oh, like, oh, if you, it's either my way or the I way. They feel like if you don't um, do what I want, somebody else will. Mm. And it's because a lot of women, even based in the UK, are so open to this thing. Yeah. You know, they encourage it and they just feel like, so, like, you have to, like, be pretty strong in your ground. Mm. Otherwise, you will be shaken because you'll be thinking, oh, my God, another girl out there is going to get my man mm. and all that stuff. And then you all, all of a sudden, you know, without even realizing or even realizing, you know, start succumbing to his wants and his needs, you know. And it's all because um, it, it's, it's now even general. It's like, oh, if you don't, if you don't accept me, I, he's, still sing, he's still single even though he has three kids. <laughs> he's still single, he can mm. go and get any girl out there. Ah, and even before he even leaves you, he's already have had like four or five girls exactly. with their doors open. Yes, open that's him. right. Yeah. Amazing. Nice point. Let's do the last point before we sign up because we've actually exceeded our limit now. Last point. Would you, Baba, would you, mm -hmm. again, would you be with a guy who is not financially mm. supporting you at all, but is still maltreating you? Mm. Would you Hell no! be with a guy who is not supporting you at all? No. But is still maltreating you? No. No. No way. No. no. Full stop. There's no, there's no comma, but in our uh, oh, uh, yep, no. just no <laughs> way, no <laughs> how, open. Not. Trust you're not even like it's not even you're not finance. Why are you not financially stable? What exactly is going on in your mind? So, if you're at a particular age, for example, you're in your late 40s or early 50s, and you're with a man, your husband or your boyfriend or your you know in london here we have lots of partners he's your partner and you guys have been partnering for god knows when <laughs> and he's still abusing <laughs> you like, no forget that you down. not when i mean abuse it's not physical abuse but he makes you feel like i know what you mean i'm I can, saying I no any woman anytime so no i'm saying no. like no. there's a lot of girls don't get me wrong there's a lot of women out there because we're based in the uk that will take him mm. but it's a no it's for a no me year. No, it's a no-go area because, you know, um, that means is a user, yeah. is a manipulator, yes, it is. you know, is, is, is just a no-no. Because it, what he's going to do is he's going to take out all his um, um, aggression of, I don't have a job, I don't have anything doing, I don't even have an ambition. <laughs> <laughs> and he's going to take all of it out on you. Yeah literally so all right uh, amazing thank you so much for joining me today for the all-stars base with more and i particularly the korean princess i want to say thank you to you for joining me and baba thank you so much for joining us it's been hard i think it, it must be hard holding your hand like this still for one hour plus you have to just there like this. Yeah. <laughs> thank you so much i'm gonna catch you up next week oh uh, christina thank you so much did you enjoy the show? It's a wonderful show. Would you like to come back next week? Yeah. Yes, now. Especially yes, especially now. with your next lineup. I'm hey, looking forward to it. The lineup is hot. The lineup is hot for next week. So <laughs> hold tight. All right, guys. So if, you're not in, you, if you are in any abusive relationship, please 
run away. There is no need for you to be in a relationship. There's no fetching you no happiness. Remember, happiness comes from within. You are your happiness. Nobody can give you happiness. Happiness can be found within you. Again, you're watching All Stars Base with your girl Ella Patti, the Aquarius Princess. I want to say a big thank you to everybody who watched the show today. God bless you. Love you from what to you. See you next to you. Did I say Tuesday? See you next <laughs> Friday, same time, same place. Love you guys. Sign out. Oh. Oh. All right, all right.